Surveillance video capturing George Floyd's final moments is played in a Minnesota courtroom as prosecutors lay out the sequence of events that led to his death. Oh my God. Day three of the murder trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin brought emotional testimony from several eyewitnesses. Charles McMillan said he felt helpless trying to get Floyd to calm down as officers struggled to get him into the back of a squad car. I'm trying to get him to understand that when you make a mistake, once they get you a cup, it's no certain thing as being class but you're going to go with them. Minutes before the police encounter, Floyd is seen inside a convenience store where he bought cigarettes with a suspected fake $20 bill. Christopher Martin, the store clerk and one of the last people to speak with Floyd, testified he seemed friendly but under the influence of drugs. I had asked him if he played uh, baseball. Uh, he went on to respond to that, but it kind of took him a little long to get to what he was trying to say, so it would appear that he was high. An autopsy confirmed fentanyl and metaphenamine in Floyd's blood, and Chauvin's defense lawyers argue Floyd's drug use had an impact on his health. You also indicated that he was having some trouble um, with certain words. Correct. He was trying to form the words. After receiving that alleged counterfeit bill from Floyd, Martin testified he eventually told his manager. After confronting Floyd, the police were called. But as the situation unfolded, Martin recalls his disbelief and feelings of guilt. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. Over the last three days, several eyewitnesses, including teenagers, have described to jurors the shock of watching Floyd struggle while pinned underneath Chauvin's knee. The case sparked global protest against police brutality against black people. The trial is expected to last several weeks. Jason Samelny, VOA News.